So this is what the Apple TV app looks like on tvOS 17.1. And this is what it looks like on tvOS 17.2. Welcome into the video. Today we are back with the LG C2, but as you can tell from the title of the video, we aren't talking LG C2 today. Today's video topic is going to be about the Apple TV 4K. Apple's beginning to push out a new tvOS update, and that update is going to be tvOS 17.2. But before I get into the update installation and details, all that fun stuff, Thank you to the new subscribers and welcome to the channel. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with tech updates like the Apple TV 4K, LG TVs, gaming updates, etc., be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. Okay, to kick things off here, we'll go ahead and go into the settings app. We'll navigate our way down to system and then system software updates. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and click on update software. And there it is, it's letting us know there's the pop-up that 17.2 17 is available to install. I do wanna make note before I get this started that if you have an OLED TV and you have any concerns about things like image retention or anything like that, my recommendation is to go into your settings and turn down the brightness as far as you can possibly allow it because during the installation of these tvOS updates, Sometimes they can be rather lengthy and you're gonna have a very bright white Apple logo sitting in the middle of a black screen for an extended period of time. And if you have any concerns at all about in image retention, just go in and turn down the brightness settings through the installation. And as soon as the installation is done, go back in, put your settings back where they were and you're good to go. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and click on download and install. And we'll get a little spinny wheel here and then we'll get the installation started. Okay, here's that dark background screen I was talking about with that bright white Apple logo in the middle. So again, if you have concerns about stuff like image retention on your OLED TV, just turn the brightness settings down during the installation of the update. Afterwards, put them back to where you had them, should be good to go. Okay, the update is completed. It just loaded back here into the home screen and we'll just kind of navigate around the home screen here real quick and at first glance, it doesn't look like there are any UI changes to this actual home screen, but as I'll talk a little bit about in the uh, update details part of this video, there is one major change here that I will go ahead and get into now, and it's gonna be involving this Apple TV app. So if you're somebody who utilizes this app a lot for your content, this, uh, this is gonna be a nice change for you. So let's go ahead and click on the Apple TV app, and you'll see right away uh, compared to like the intro of this video and let me let me get off of this before uh, I pick up a copyright but you saw right away a big change was on that home screen instead of up there at the top there being a navigation bar there everything's over here on this left hand side now it looks nice and clean at first glance but let's take a quick look at what you have in comparison to the 17.1 uh, tvOS and you have a search option home, Apple TV Plus, MLS Season Pass, sports, store, and library. In my opinion, just at first glance here, this is a much more clean interface. Really like this a lot. Even though I don't use this app, if I did, or if I actually start to use it in the future, uh, this is a nice change. So one thing about this app is, like I showed you in the intro, when you go to the sports tab, this is going to look similar uh, to what you saw before. The apps themselves, or the uh, icons that you can navigate here, uh, appear to be much smaller, uh, much cleaner look. But instead of going back all the way to the top, you click the left button on the Apple TV remote, and it takes you back to this quick menu right here. Instead of hitting the back button or you know going all the way to the top of the screen. All right, so let's test this out and navigate a little bit. So. In the previous app, the icons uh, appear to be much larger than this. So I'm just gonna kind of scroll through the page here and just check out what are the options to watch. And then I'm gonna click the left button on the Apple remote. And it's gonna go ahead and pull up this side menu. And if you wanna go back to that first screen, instead of having to go all the way back to the top or any other way, you can actually just click this home button and it takes you right back here. So really like that. 
I don't want to go up there to the top again because it's going to autoplay that movie. But uh, as you can see here, this is a nice clean interface to navigate. Leave me some comments below. Do you utilize Apple TV and uh, what kind of content are you watching and do you find it, do you find it worth it? You know, I'd be curious to know how you feel about it. Just kind of navigating around, like what I'm seeing so far. Click that left button, pulls up that quick menu. If I cared about soccer at all, I would click this, but I don't. I do like sports a lot, just not soccer. And so having access to all these right here looks good to me. And look at this interface as I went into this first game that popped up. It has a nice look, shows you who's playing, what time it tips off, where it's played, some basic stats over there. This is pretty cool. So I just wanted to show an example of the main thing that comes with Apple TVOS 17.2 before diving into more details, which I will do momentarily. Okay, so as promised, uh, we're going to take a quick look at what else came with tvOS 17.2. I've already covered the Apple TV app navigation. That's what I did through the video demonstration. Cover a couple more things here. You get iTunes movies and TV. You can now buy and rent from the store for your movies and TV. So if that's how you consume your media, seems pretty cool. We also get Dolby Atmos for SharePlay now. A couple of other things here, voice search and apps and uh, FaceTime improvements. So that kind of summarizes what we get with Apple TVOS 17.2. Leave me some comments below. How do you feel about this update? Are you excited to get the update installed? Are you looking forward to these new features? Leave some comments below and let me know what you think. But as always, I appreciate you watching the video. And if you did enjoy the content or learn anything at all, you want to help support the channel, consider hitting that like button. Really helps out the channel, gets my videos circulated out to more people. And if you're new here, appreciate you watching as well. Consider hitting that subscribe button and, of course, hitting that bell notification so you don't miss my uploads. But with all that being said, until the next one.